Hi, internet. What I'm doing now? A little series called Best of the Worst. This was about the bottom of the barrel. It's a beautiful ball. It says Andre's Rich Canadian Sherry Medium Dry. 20%. 12 bucks. What I thought I'd do with this stuff is I'm gonna try out through some of these nasty wines. <laughs> wines. And uh, just see how bad they really are. This is what the winos drink in the city. This is one of their favorites in the city. This is the number one choice of most Halifax winos right here. This and Lysol. So let's give it a try. Lovely screw cap. Doesn't smell too bad, actually. It's kind of has that wine cream soda kind of smell to it. Actually, putting that on ice is a little too good for it. So let's just try it wino style. Get a first impression of what a wino goes through. Ugh. Super sweet. It's really not that bad. It's just, it's very strong. Whew, you got a nice warm feeling going down. It's really not all that disagreeable, actually. Oh, but the sugar. If they could make it less sweet, it'd be a lot better. Good God. Let's put it on some ice. It kind of looks like flat root beer. It doesn't have the look of wine at all. I don't think it's the blue glass making it look that way, but it's it's kind of a brown, like looks like flat root beer. So I'm pretty sure putting it on ice ain't gonna make it taste any different. So I thought I'd put a little seven up in it. Let me try a little seven up. Just a little. Like adding more sugar to it's going to make it better. Well, the 7-Up pretty well kills the nastiness. I don't think you want to put much 7-Up in it, but... Well, it ain't too bad, but uh, I'll, I'll have to get back to you once I get a half a bottle into me and I'll give you a second opinion. The first opinion, opinion of it is this really isn't all that horrible. I've had some sherries and ports and those sorts of things, and some of them, man, oof. Oh. Mm. This stuff, this really ain't that bad, 12 bucks. Let's see, that would be the equivalent of buying 50 milliliters of something 40% for 12 bucks. So that's pretty good. That's, that's a pretty good value as far as the alcohol goes. I guess that's why the wine I was drinking. But. It's pretty good with 7 up. Let me get 7 ups flat though. Anyway, I got some shit to build. Let's go.
So that's the end of uh, the building of a forged version of the Legrand pot rack that I sell on my website. Uh, I'm trying to show you one here. Well, you can go to my website and see it, but that's basically it right there. So the hooks I made the other day were the uh, suspender hooks. I made the uh, these two scrolls and the end scrolls, and then the other day we made the uh, forged hooks to hang your pots on. Basically, that's how they're made. Uh, I've been making these for almost uh, shit seven or eight years, six years, six or seven years, and. Uh, pretty good sellers you know uh, especially around Christmas time I sell a lot of this sort of stuff but uh, you know this time of year starts to pick up later in the year people s seem to do a lot of uh, renovating and stuff so uh, I got another little one to do there but I thought I would just end it there that's the whole thing it's all put together you'll notice the uh, jig that I made for making that it makes a lot of my pot racks and it you know jigs are very important when you're in welding uh, you know, they're the difference between making money and not making money. Um, you know, even if you're making one of something, it's good to set up a jig. It'll keep everything square and in place. And you know, not everything needs a jig, but it makes things go together a lot nicer. Keeps things square. If you got the table for it, you know, I got a good sized table. It's good to have a good thick table. If you're going to build a welding table, try and find some three-quarter to one-inch thick steel plate. At least four by eight. Don't even waste your time with something smaller. It doesn't cost that much more to find a big scrap piece plate. You know, obviously if you don't have enough room, but if you've got even a 20 by 20 garage, have at least a four by eight plate for building on because it's a pain in the ass on a smaller plate. So. Yeah, I don't know about this stuff. I think you'd have to drink it straight to get anything out of it, but who could who could handle it? Oh, brutal. Would not want to be a wino. I would not want to be a wino drinking Seagram's Rich, which is what I'm doing. Guess that makes me a wino. Anyway, thought I'd show you some juggling there, eh? I can juggle a little bit. Not that much, but. I got one, <laughs> so you know who you are, one of my subscribers is a, a juggling blacksmith and uh, I'm going to put a link to his, uh, to his page there, he's very interesting. I think he's in France or somewhere, Poland, I don't know, I can't remember. He's definitely not from this side of the planet, but uh, he's a real character, he seems like a nice guy, so check out his page. And what else can I do? I don't know, that's it, I guess. So we'll talk to you next time.